Hi everybody, I'm Dan and I have Dr. Bilski here and you have a mask on and I don't, but we're gonna talk about that. Uh, it's been a, obviously a topic in everybody's life for over a year. Mm -hmm. So where are we at? What, what do we need to know? All right, Dr. Bilski looks like this at work. And then when Dr. Bilski is at home with his family or at dinner at the restaurant, this is what he looks like. Mm -hmm. And uh, Governor Michael DeWine said after June 2nd, we can go ahead and take these off. Okay. However, there's a lot of confusion. So. Yeah, there is a lot of confusion. Let's take the mask off right now and, and use this as an example. When you come to the office mm -hmm. from now, today is uh, May 20th, 2021. And in a little bit more than, I don't know, what's that work out to 12 days, mm -hmm. 13 days, uh, the masks are no longer required except in places like buses, airplanes, close. schools, right. close quarter communities, mm -hmm. and medical facilities. Okay. The other places like restaurants, that's up to them to decide. Right. Any, any retail type uh, stuff, it's up for them to decide. <clears throat> In our practice, I've been wearing a mask for 33 years. Right. So I'm gonna have my mask on. If you come in, Dan, and you're not wearing your mask, here's the, the touchy question. People are sensitive about the question. Yeah. Are you vaccinated, Dan? Don't answer. Don't mm -hmm. answer. Okay, I won't answer. Right. So I saw something on Facebook yesterday. <laughs> okay, um, I won't answer the question. <laughs> <clears throat> the, 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 the question is, how do you know if somebody's vaccinated? And do you ask? And the, the, the statement is, no, you don't have to, because those that are vaccinated will tell you. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what it's been. Interesting. And then you get into that argument, and, and I, I don't want to get political on it, because it's right. not. It's right. not. It's a personal preference. Yeah. You know, how you wear your hair, how I wear it. Yeah. it, it I don't, it doesn't matter to me. Right. What I care about is it is a pandemic. Yeah. We're trying to get rid of what we are dealing with with yeah. the coronavirus. So let's accept the fact that there are some people that will be vaccinated that will tell you, and some people that are vaccinated will not tell you, mm -hmm. and, and vice versa. So anyway, when you come to our office, you don't want to wear a mask, I'm not going to ask you yeah. if you're vaccinated. Right. So just so you know, I'm going to let you know as the doctor, I am vaccinated mm -hmm. for a lot of reasons. I, I just feel that I need to do this yeah. to make well, sure we're close to people. We're, we're right up front yeah. and we've, yeah. we've done everything else with evacuation systems to right. take out aerosols and right. uh, air filter systems that turn over every 15 minutes. We have UV light all over. Mm -hmm. The short of this is that it's very, very complicated, but very simple at the mm -hmm. same time. Mm -hmm. So then the question is, well, what if I lie that I am been vaccinated and I'm in your office? I'm still not gonna ask you because I'm wearing my mask. Right. So about half our staff is vaccinated. The other half is not. Yeah. We're all gonna wear our masks when we're dealing with you. Yeah. If we, if you identify yourself as somebody, if you were vaccinated and I am not, you and I are good. We can go out in public. We don't need to wear masks anymore. Right. I am still gonna take my mask around until yeah. finally, yeah. so that when I walk into a retail shop and someone identifies me as not wearing a mask, I put a mask on. Right. I'm not looking for confrontation no at all and we had that confrontation at the beginning of the pandemic if yeah. i could remember oh, yeah. it was almost better when they said masks at the door yeah, yeah. because I, I remember like going into home depot i'm like i'm either gonna get a beat up by this dude because i'm wearing it or beat up by this dude because i'm not wearing it you can't win yeah so yeah. that that and we're I, mean, I think coming out of the pandemic we are going to have that just like you're you guys are predicting we're gonna have that confusing moment in time yeah. It's kind of strange, but maybe it feels a little refreshing when it says mask at the door because you just do it. Just put it on. If it's okay, right. it's okay. If you don't want to wear one, you don't have to wear one. Right. Then, right. Unless exactly. the owner of the of the restaurant says you need to put it on our staff. Yeah. <clears throat> um, the good news about kind of where we're going with this, eventually, um, the, the, the top brass in, in medical that have been around for more than 30, 40 years, there are diseases that they dealt with when they were first graduating from medical school that are, have been eradicated with vaccines or therapies. Right. It's not always a vaccine. Um, you know, today you're still getting shingles vaccines. It's a yeah. viral type thing that needs to be taken care of when you get to your 50s. Mm -hmm. um, it should be eradicated, right. I think. But yeah. in the meantime, we're following the rules. When you come in to see me, I may introduce myself with the mask on, I'll pull it down quickly, 
keep my distance. Hey, hide. This is what I look like without my mask. Uh, thanks for coming in. How can we help you? And it's very yeah. low key. Well, at least you're you're kind of pronouncing it here. Hopefully, this video does help you guys out. Just understand the the etiquette in the Bilski office, um, and and maybe some of this video even kind of just helps you navigate what we're all going to go through here in a little bit. So we wish you guys the best of luck and hope to see you at the Bilsky office soon. Come on in. Thank you. Mm -hmm.